The third step for the G Suite for Education application is the verification of the domain that you purchase. But before we do that, we need to go to the email address that we registered during the application and check the email from the Google Cloud support. As you can see, I have received the Google Cloud support email in my email trainer at jdsmercado.com. In this email, Google requires you to verify your domain so that they will process your application. In another email, Google welcomes you to G Suite for Education and it tells you your username for the admin, which you nominated during the application. So let me go ahead and log in my admin at deped-demo.com which I nominated during the registration process in the step number two. So let me enter my password. And accept. Then it will show me the Google Admin Console. The first thing that you have to do in the Google Admin Console is to set it up. As you can see here in the upper left corner, there's a button click here to get started. We need to click that link. And then click next. And here it tells you that you should activate Gmail for deped-demo.com. So we need to click activate. And it shows you that before you can start using G Suite for Education with deped-demo.com, we'll do a quick check to make sure that you own your domain and guide you through routing your email to Gmail. Here how it works. Update your domain settings to route email to Gmail, which we will do later in our GoDaddy uh, website. And then we need to verify um, if we add the records that Google wants us to do. And if we are done, we can start using G Suite for Education. So right now we will click continue. So the first thing that you have to do is go to your domain's host website in a new tab. So um, Google automatically detected that deped-demo.com is in, go in godaddy.com. All right, so sign into your domain host. So it will ask us to sign in to our GoDaddy and go to our MX records. From the domain Spain, you have to click DNS for the domain you want to verify. So let me go ahead and go to my GoDaddy account. As you can see here, you can see my deped-demo.com and I will click DNS. The DNS records show us vital information about our domain. Okay, so now that we are here in the DNS records, we will go back to the admin console. Then, step number four tells us that we should add MX records for our Gmail. At the bottom of the records table, click Add. From the type drop down list, select MX. In the host record field, enter at sign. In the points to field, enter aspmx.l.google.com. Let's just copy it, paste it here. In the priority field, enter number one. Leave the default value in the time to leave field and then click save. Now we have added the MX record to our DNS. Then you should follow the same steps to add MX record shown in this table. So I will just copy and paste this. The priority is number five. Click add, MX, 
at sign points to that priorities number five click save repeat the process again the priority is five click add mx at sign points to priority five click save Copy the address, priority number 10, click add, click MX, post at points two, ten, 10, save. Copy the address again, this is the last one, priorities number 10, click add, click MX, click at sign, Points to address, priority 10, click save. And then, you should get your verification code. Copy this code. Add another MX record just like you did above. Only this time, you paste the MX verification record you copied above in the points to field. Be sure to include the period at the end of the code. Okay? So click add again, mx, post at, points to, make sure that you include the period, priority is number 15, click save. And then we have to activate Gmail. Then let's wait while Google is checking the records we have added in the MX records. Now that Google is done checking the MX records in your DNS, it will show you that Gmail is now activated for deped-demo.com. The second step is to create new users, but for now, we will skip it. So now let's check if Gmail is indeed activated for deped-demo.com. Click send test email. Click send. And then on the bottom of your screen, click go to Gmail. And as you can see here, the G Suite team is successful in sending test email to your brand new domain. Then we have to check if our verification process is successful. In order to do that, click Add New Tab. And then type in the Google search box, Verify My Domain. And then you have to look the result from support.google.com that says, Verify Your Domain for G Suite. And then, as you can see here, it tells me that I am currently signed in my personal email, jdsmercado at gmail.com, which is not a G Suite email address. So what you have to do is to click your profile and choose your admin email in the deped-demo.com or the domain that you have nominated. Once you are successful with the verification of your domain, it will show here that your domain is already verified. 